Hello. I choose joy. I am so happy that you guys are joining me. I don't have my fro out because I think I'm going biking today and I don't want to take my hair loose only to bundle it back up under a helmet. So today is going to be very special for me. I'm making something that my mother loved to have while we were growing up. And that is chocolate almond ice cream. So good, you guys, so good. So now that I have an ice cream attachment, today is the day that I will make the ice cream. I keep my ice cream bucket in the freezer so that it can always be ready to go at the spur of the moment when I'm ready to make ice cream. In honor of my mom, let's do this thing. I'll show the ingredients in the next slide so you'll see exactly what I'm about to put into this ice cream. Best thing about making your own ice cream is you know exactly what's in it. Just wanted to do a little sidebar. This is homemade vanilla made by my daughter's grandmother. It has been aging since 11-4-2020. This is some good stuff, y'all. So just wanted to just interrupt before I start making the ice cream to let you guys know when I pull this thing up, this is what it is, homemade vanilla. It's worth the wait. chocolate mixture all combined is ready you actually really do not need to put this on an eye and heat it up you can just put all of the ingredients in a bowl together and combine them until the sugar is dissolved I actually put it over a, a tiny tiny low heat to dissolve the sugars faster and that way I can get it in my bowl this is not even hot it's, it's, it's not even warm. Here's my trusty ice cream bowl. I will take it over to my KitchenAid mixer and attach it and then pour in my chocolate mixture. While that's going, I'm gonna take a cup full of almonds. These are salted and roasted. I will chop those up and get them ready for the addition towards the end. that sound is slowing down a little bit because the ice cream is mixing up against this cold bowl and now it's churning look at that we're gonna let her go for about 25 minutes and then we'll add our chopped nuts Y'all, we at the portion of the program where we are about to add the almonds. Let's get them. I chopped them all up, all nice and good. Let's just go ahead and add them in a little bit at a time. Ooh, slow the process down. Okay. 
Oh y'all, that's that's looking real nutty. Let's just add it's just gonna do it. Now we're gonna let this turn for about five more minutes. After that five minutes has been completed, we will put them in some special ice cream bowls that I bought to place them in the freezer. We'll be back. Okay, it's time to take the ice cream out. So I, I forgot to mention this. Your KitchenAid mixer needs to be on stir, S-T-I-R, stir, the entire time. Please do not turn it up more than stir. Keep it on stir because if you mix it on any other setting besides stir, then you can potentially mess your motor up in your KitchenAid mixer. So let's turn this baby off. Ooh, it's so exciting. And let's unlock it, lift her up, turn our bowl and take it where we can pour it out into our containers. As I was saying before the power went off on my camera and I had to plug it up, these have nice little lids for them and the lids allow me to write what type of ice cream is on here. I use a permanent marker and it washes right off. So go figure. I have a spatula here. I am just going to scrape the sides of my bowl. Ooh, it's like, oh, ice cream soup heaven in here. And you know what would be good? The fact that I have a canning funnel would be great to use on this. So let me get my canning funnel. One canning funnel placed on top of here. My dad used to have this saying all the time when we were growing up and he was doing things. Since I'm a daddy's girl, I was always underfoot, as the old folks call it. If he was doing something and he didn't have the right tool and he went and grabbed the right tool, he would say, oh, the things you can do when you got the right tools. <laughs> and to this day, me and my brothers still say that. So let's pour some of this ice cream in. Oh, that's super, super easy. Super, super easy. Oh my goodness. That's almost scary easy. Got one filled up. Yup. <laughs> That's that llama just came out in me, y'all. And I said, yup. <laughs> and we got one more container. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill this container up, but let's see. We got three containers of ice cream. That's really inexpensive. And this will remind you of Haagen-Dazs. Don't take my word for it, Just make it for yourself. Let's put these in the freezer and we will come back with a taste testing. It won't take any time for these to freeze. Hello guys, it's the next day and we are about to reveal the chocolate almond ice cream. Yay! BPA free um, storage container for ice cream. This is what it looks like in the container. You can't see any nuts right now, but that's okay. I got my hot ice cream scoop. Let's get in here and get some ice cream out. Ugh, it's hard. Oh my goodness, y'all. We might need to come back a little bit later. Okay, I'm back. I scooped some out, and yes, this bowl is incredibly too large for the little small amount that I scooped out. But this is it. It's got bits of almond in it. We're going in. Y'all, that's... That's really doggone good. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now. I love myself some Haagen-Dazs, 
but this is this has got to be better than Hagen Dazs. I have to say it, y'all. I don't done it again. <laughs> hey, get this recipe. If you have the KitchenAid attachment to make ice cream, hey, it's worth it. It is worth it. Make your ice cream using all of the ingredients that you know you put in it. Next time, we're going to try to make ice cream with coconut milk. Yeah. So thank you for joining me on this journey to make chocolate almond ice cream. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button if you already haven't. And don't forget to tell other people about this channel because we're doing what? We're spreading joy around here, y'all. Bye. Happy eating.